G'day guys. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to run you through a couple of key scenarios that you're going to have uh, back of house with the bar. The first one is how you're going to know the keg is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to start pouring here. Pouring beer, pouring beer, pouring beer. And in a second it should stop. There we go. It drops down to a dribble like that. Yeah. Oh, turn it on again. Still a dribble. Just pouring beer. Now it's stopped. All right. Let's go investigate. Let's go to the back cold room, guys. So we've come back to the cold room here, and we've got our tap line in question. So if you look up here, all the taps are numbered off. If you have any dramas, but also if you know what you're pouring, you come through and try and keep your decals from the kegs on top there. That way you know which keg's which. But here we know we're pouring the Marzen. We got the Marzen keg. We come to that, we go, oh yeah, no beer in the line. The fob's dropped. So what we do, we just come to your coupler, lift your coupler, take your coupler off, take your keg away. Take it outside the cold room, take it down in the dungeon, store it away. Take your off the top, slide your keg coupler back on, engage it. Just like that, there is a trigger down here, so just lift that trigger, push down, and it should click. Then what you do, is you come over to the fob, press the button on the fob, and it's gonna pump beer through the line, up into the fob once again. Now you got a little button on the side here. See how the, the float hasn't lifted up? What you're gonna do, is you're gonna push that back, which causes the float to lift. Once it's lifted, you put it back to the position it was in. That means that when that keg runs out, that float's gonna come down and it's gonna block that board there and stop the beer line from here to the bar, filling with gas, make service faster, stops wastage, little things like that. Now, we just discussed the fobs just then. One thing we need to remember with these fobs in here, some of the buttons stick, okay? So what that means is you're pushing the fob down here and what's happening is you're pumping beer from the keg into the fob uh, but actually letting it overflow, any foam overflow out that line there until the fob's actually full of beer and then when you let it go, the fob lifts and it stops pumping beer out. But every now and then, the buttons stick. So what that means is you're going to walk out of the cold room, happy as Larry that you just changed that keg, but this button's down and it's just pumping beer out, pumping beer out, pumping beer out. And you're going to overflow, as you can see just here, the overflow container. And you're just going to dump a whole keg onto the floor and it's gonna flow out the cold room. So essentially what you're looking at there is a thousand dollars revenue for the bar just flowed down the drain.